Well, I think we ought to have a family picture here. <laughs> you ought to be between us. Oh, right. It sounds really good. Okay. Wherever you want to be there, Mark. Okay. Okay, right here. Thank you. Well, that'll wreck your camera right there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not at all. Thank you, Mr. President. A couple of little souvenirs. Oh. A knife, pocket knife. Thank you. And a pencil set. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Did he keep him busy enough? <laughs> Looks like he wore him. Does he take good care of him? Well, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Where's the line? That's true. Right. This is Marcel Jovine, who's a sculptor. Right. Right. You know Congressman Pickle, of course. I'm sure he's a friend right now. Good afternoon. Bill Friends will be yes, president. Yeah. Good to see you, sir. We got something for you. Thank you so much for giving us this time. This is a letter addressed to you, which gives a general survey of what the historical society is doing without taxpayers' money. Thank you. And then some time ago, we launched a program for medals. So this is a complete set of all of the medals of 1987 to commemorate the next round. That Mr. President, the sculptor is an immigrant from Italy, and he said that this is the second most important day of his life because the first was when he got his paper. <laughs> <laughs> and that would have been my president. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. It's a great much. honor. You're a magnificent treatment. I just left your homeland a few days ago. I hope you had a good time in Venice. Yes, so all the honesty, I had a very wet season because when I looked down uh, from the helicopter, all the streets seemed to be flooded. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like that. Oh, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty corny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Mr. Well, President, that's one of the most beautiful sculptures, medals that we produced. Uh, I think we're going to get more favorable comment on this than anyone the society has ever is. produced. Well, this is uh, we're very especially pleased to be here, not only because of the medal, because you'd receive it. And, Receive us and accept well, listen, I am most pleased to have these, and they are most handsome. Thank, Thank you. All. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So if you want to get a picture with Why don't we turn the medals yeah. around yeah. so we can get a picture with them? Yeah, open it up there. All right. Yeah, the tighter group here. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were on the show with it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Incidentally, you might be interested to know that one of my meetings was not, didn't have to do with the summit over there, but I met uh, at a home where, and there were a number of our American friends there, and it was that uh, they were there because Italy has now decided to also have a private sector's initiative there and do the things that we do here as a private sector uh, without going through government. They yeah. didn't have one? What? They didn't have one? No, it uh, all started about a year ago uh, in a uh, thing in Paris where there was an international get together and a number of European countries that wanted to find out how we were doing that with the private sector. And they have started, and their first chore was uh, there in Venice, they built an American Italian friendship park. There was a landscape. Tell the president what you told us on the way up about uh, what you want to be in America. Well, we had a private year and a half. When I first came to the States as an immigrant, I decided two things I wanted to be. I wanted to be a capitalist and a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything else so you so right. I've succeeded in both points. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But, Brother, we came five years ago to give you the Capitol Medal down here. Yes. Barbara Carnival would let this in, and Bill Friends and I on society. We look forward to seeing you another five years here or somewhere <laughs> in another medal. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You're honored. Thank you, sir. Mr. President, yes. introduce uh, Colonel Carlson, sir, the National it's President. Honor. Yes. Honor. Thank you.
Well, it is an honor. Pleased to have you on here. Yes, sir. Good to see you again, sir. General Halton. God bless. Really How have you been? Just fine. God bless. We bring you greetings, and not only from Arlo, far away, but uh, back at uh, Fort Des Moines. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. General Sandler from sir. the Army. Nice to meet yes, you, sir. sir. My pleasure. Good to see you. I uh, was from Des Moines. And W.H.O. <laughs> <laughs> I think I thought you ought to know that, sir. Major, Major Folsom from the Air Force. Hello, sir. Chief Warrant Officer Kovacs. President. Name. What a big <laughs> He looks down on everybody, sir. No. <laughs> I agree. Doesn't look that tall to me after I had this photograph a few weeks ago with that. Uh, Navy basketball. Oh, oh <laughs> terrific, terrific. And I see the picture, Super. I can't believe it. And in the picture, I measured just his head leaning down <laughs> from, his head, from his head and my head in the photograph facing him. And his head, in comparison to mine, went all the way to the bottom of my neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Yeah, we're getting yeah, the press yeah. Thank you. Well, listen, I know what the reserves mean to our whole defense situation. And I also know all the help that you've been on things for me, like AWACS. AWACS. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the budget for defense and so forth. And I need you now more than I've ever needed you because up on the hill they're just planning some things mm -hmm. that would just cut everything out from under. Here we are finally built up to a point where, as you can see, the Soviets mm -hmm. have decided they've got to do this. Yes, sir. With us. Right. And now, in the face of all of that, in the face of the coming negotiations, they're up there planning things that would cut us to, to, to right to right. Well, Mr. Right. President, I want to offer our association's help. Right. We're highly concerned about Central American everything and all the other problems. Call us, just like on the AWACS, so and we're ready. Well, you tell us when well, and what you'd right like us to do. Right now, you know, lean on Congress. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we can handle that. That's We've right. done that before. You were mentioning Fort Des Moines. Yes, sir. I have lost track. What is Fort Des Moines? Now? It's still there, sir. It's uh, as the old commander and now commander there. And we've still got a very major reserve there. Ah, but, but no active. Uh, no, no, no reserve. No, it's oh, a major, major reserve unit. units. All yes, reserve sir. units. It was, the, it was the 14th Cavalry. Yes, sir. Well, and then after <laughs> that, they had the uh, the uh, army wax. The wax, of course. Yeah, and, and they and they come back here every year now and have a uh, uh, reunion. I have to say something here about. Uh, it's going to be a little embarrassing for one here. No, no. Mr. President, never embarrassed the Yeah. Frankly, when we had the. Uh, the ceremonies in Oregon, you know, here in Oregon, it was just terribly hot and humid and all the progress uniform and everything. And seven Marines collapsed. <coughs> yes, sir. But they were all the male Marines. Yes. Mr. President, next year we're going to dedicate at number one Constitution our Hall of Fame, of which you are a member, along with a very select group of people. I want to give you the personal invitation. We would like you to do the dedication. President Truman is the man who, of course, has been first eulogized there, and we kind of think uh, things ought to be uh, put balanced together down. and balanced. Uh, <laughs> so I want to give you personally that invitation now. And if you can find it in your schedule next year, we're going to do it when you can do it. Well, so we would we would really be blessed and honored if you would well, try and fit that into your schedule. Well, I shall certainly take this up with the God bless the people responsible. God bless you, sir. I just found that that's the place where I have the least influence. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we want you up there as a part of that Hall of Fame that's to great, dedicate. Sir. We appreciate the opportunity to have uh, have us in here and. Uh, We'll certainly do everything we can to assist. Mm -hmm. I never mean, had an opportunity to tell you when I stopped being reserved. And that was, I was, oh, about two thirds of the way through a picture co starring with Errol Flynn. <laughs> and I received a letter I didn't even have to open. In red print on the outside of the envelope, this was right shortly after Pearl Harbor in the spring. And it said immediate action, active duty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but there is a certificate. 
at our Reserve Personnel Center in St. Louis with your signature on it, discharging Clark Gable from the, uh, when you were a captain, you, and he was a major, discharging him from the service. That's yeah. at the center, anytime you <laughs> like Anytime you care to go down to the Army Reserve Personnel Center, you can see that. Can this be sure when I wound up flying the desk of the Air Force? Oh, okay, sir. That's all right. That's Everyone okay. That's what <laughs> sir, our old Peltier case, I see, is in the news again today, and uh, we're still going to continue to fight it. Uh, Leonard Peltier, uh, I was the one uh, who handled that as one of your U.S. attorneys, and for 11 years we've been hanging with it, and uh, the Department of Justice is going to continue to make sure that thing sticks. Justice will continue to be done. Sir. God bless, sir. So nice to be with you. Thank you, very Thank you for much. everything. You yes, Thank sir. you for everything. What was the win here? Thank you. Uh, I think we, I think we have one souvenir that's going to be a great, oh, terrific. terrific. Thank, Thank, you, sir. Sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You know, I give up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have someone that you could give a tie about. She's got a head. That's the reason I'm with salsa. I'll make him wear it and I'll wear a tie. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Oh, pleasure. Thank Good you. to be with you again. Sure. Come out from Midwest. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. And we're, I've been we're in here all the way. 34 oh, years, sir. This is my proudest moment. Thank you. Professor Gordon Byer, the President of the Foundation. He's going to be presenting the other people from the Marshall Foundation. This is Dr. Pogue, the official biographer. Oh, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Huntington yeah. Harris, the treasurer and, and head of the 40th anniversary yeah. events. And this is Mr. Ross Milheiser, the chairman yeah. of the board. Yeah. Nice to see you. I thought maybe you'd like to get this from you. <laughs> from Forrest. You wrote it. It's 30 years. Yes. <laughs> Great honor for me to present this to you from the Marshall Foundation. Well, listen, I am most pleased to have it and I appreciate all that you've done in this and I have an increased appreciation and since my return just a short time ago from Europe uh, in this 40th year because there believe it or not there are they are still honoring uh, this and recognizing this for, for what it did and in Germany there particularly they have a museum dedicated to this and uh, I am because I have always felt that he was the basis for the first peace settlement virtually in history that did not lay the foundation for the next war. Always the winners would see that the grudges remained and so forth, but we've had 40 years of peace because of what he was able. I know that he's waiting for us to get a kind of <laughs> okay. what you say there. Well, I was so sorry I couldn't be present at the, at the dinner I know that you had. Professor Pope told me he also gave a book uh, to President Eisenhower on Eisenhower. He's done what? 15, 20, 30 years ago, huh? 64. 54. He came in to see President Eisenhower and signed, presented a, a signed copy of another book he had done. Well, I'm just so pleased to have this. Well, thank you for your film for the event that for last. Oh, what that for I was most pleased to be very much indebted to you. Thank you for receiving it. Well, remember, the Marshall Plan stressed productivity. Not he, productivity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Thanks again. I met several old ladies in Germany, very elderly, on this trip. And they were there, part of the museum. And they were part of that organization then of women in Germany that got together and cleaned up the building, bricks and so forth in the rubble to help start the rubble. Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you.